going on everybody it is saturday september the 19th 2020 we are headed to go look at two units <clears throat> um it's a little bit out of my service area but it is down a little further not necessarily south i'd say uh let's see east or west of Lafayette about 60 miles I usually don't like to go that far but winter time is coming in and things will slow down a bit anyway this woman found me on uh, Google and um, Google or Facebook one of the two and uh, it's down in the Lake Charles area and Lake Charles is the one that got hit really hard by Hurricane Laura or Sally, which is no Laura, yeah. And uh, she cannot get into. She cannot get an AC company to call her back. She told me she's called like fifteen or sixteen AC companies. Left voicemail. None of them answered the phone. They all. They all got. She got all their voicemail. She's left messages for all of them and none of them have returned her calls. She called us last night and said she is willing to pay extra fees for me to come this far. Um, she doesn't think the units are salvageable. She thinks they need to be replaced. She has two systems on her house. She basically, she asked me if I could please come down today, diagnose them if they need to be replaced, set up a day next week to come replace them kind of hard to pass up on a gear on some on a guarantee like that then she said she's probably got about 10 other people that are going to need the same thing but and 10 other people being some of it family some of it friends so that's a lot of work um you know that i wouldn't mind having so we're going down there and we're going to see what we run into and hopefully we can get some film on it Okay, we have a little bit of helicopter here. We have a two-ton ream and a four-ton ream. This one's completely out of refrigerant. I have nitrogen pressure on it right now, and I didn't hear anything outside. Take the cover off. Thing in here. I think there's another screw right here. Yep. Nice big attic, it's all decked. Which is a pleasure. Did I miss a damn screw somewhere? Yep, I sure did. I don't hear anything. I do not hear anything. Okay, I'm gonna let the pressure hold a little longer. She had Freon put in it, I think she said a couple weeks ago. I might have to put some 410A in there with it. Let's go to the four ton. Again, keep in mind, this is after the storm. Uh, let's go to the four ton. The blower motor is just humming. It's not actually coming on. And uh, 
I'm going to throw some 410A in here and run a leak detector with it. You can hear the motor trying to start. We'll check the capacitor. Ah, they have bypassed one of the breakers. <sighs> lovely, 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 lovely. You can see right here where they've bypassed one of the breakers. This one, we can still shut off, but the one that powers the transformer and stuff is still alive. She just, she's better off just replacing these systems. I have the homeowner going, turn the breaker off. Looks like I have to use the nut driver on this one. Little bit of water in the pan. I did unclog the drain with my mouth just now. Okay. Or we can do like Ted does. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> All Golly. This is a 20 microfarad. You guys can see the meter right there. Seventeen point nine six. That should be enough to start the motor. It is weak, but still not low enough to not crank this motor. So we have a bad blower motor on this one. All right. So now I'm going to make my way outside and uh, for right now, I'm going to put this back together. And I'm going to make my way outside and I'm going to see if the outdoor unit for this one cranks and uh, put a little trace of Freon 410A with that nitrogen out there so I can run a leak detector. I did see some shiny spots on that two ton over there. I saw some shiny copper. I'm pretty sure that's where it's going to be, but we're not going to just guess at it. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it right. We're gonna find the leak and make sure there's no leaks outside. I'm also going to test the condenser for this one, the four ton, by hand, by just pushing in the contactor to see if the compressor and fan motor start out there. Um, and she may want to upgrade these systems they're in pretty bad shape so i will bring that up to her they have a lot of mildew in them the installation's falling apart so we're definitely going to discuss the possibility of replacement of both systems that would be the best bet for her But I will get the modeling show number off of it, just in case she wants to make repairs. All right, I'm 
I'm headed around here to pick up my tools because this thing was bone dry. We didn't even make it to the conversation of, uh, you know, I told her that I was going to come out here and put some 410A in there with the nitrogen run a leak detector. She wouldn't even let me get that far. She just said no. Uh, then I told her the blower motor was burned up. Let me let the pressure out of here or get out already. Yeah. Um, she just said, look, I've got the money. And I know that's just nitrogen. I know she can get reimbursed. And she knows that too because of the storm. Because the storm is what caused all these problems. Um, she knows she can get reimbursed. She has really good insurance. And uh, she just decided to update both systems, double change out. So we're going to go with some 14 sear rings, basic. Uh, we, we went over other options of 16 sear. And uh, we didn't get into inverter equipment because I knew that, that, you know, it's not in the budget because she has, I mean, look, look at that thing She's got a bunch of other repairs to make. And although she's going to get reimbursed, she still has to come out of pocket right now. Like, she's going to pay me. She's going to write me a check. And then she'll get reimbursed from her insurance on this. So, she's got a lot of other repairs to make. Inverter-driven equipment. Definitely not in the budget. Neither was 16 sear. So, she's going to get a 2-ton 14 sear here. And a 4-ton 14 sear here. New pads. Uh, the whips will probably stay. They look pretty good. The disconnects are good. They are breaker type disconnects. Uh, definitely new pads because we can't use the square pads. Copper looks good. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to update her. All right, so we're pulling out of her driveway, and you can see what the hurricane did. And these posts, you can see, were concreted in the ground. They didn't just stick them. You know, these are country people. They're not stupid. They know how to work. They weren't just in the dirt. They were concreted in the ground. And that damn hurricane pulled them out. They have horses, donkeys, all that. So they're having to keep the horses and the donkeys up at the house. Um, because they can't keep them in the pasture. Well, this side is tore up behind me, but not so bad right here. But another section of the fence is down right here. And that's why we're just going with 14 series equipment. I'm not going to try to upsell this lady uh on stuff on inverter technology you know when she's got all this stuff to do i mean look, look i mean look over there look let's see if the yeah look look at that i mean this poor lady's got a lot of work on her hands so we'll get her some nice 14 sear equipment in there and she'll be very happy guys thanks for watching and uh i really appreciate everything we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching